going to perform a speed test of the SanDisk 128 gig micro SD card, secondary storage. It's 100 megabits per second. Let's see what it does. The external storage here got 138 and 29. Let's see if it beats that or come anywhere near that. I suspect this is going to take a while, so. Ninety five per cent, so we're nearly done with the test. So we got hundred and sixty no sixty one read, twenty two write. Hmm, that's disappointing. It's a hundred megabit per second code. So that is very disappointing. Sixty two read. It's doing it again. Yeah. There we go. Sixty one read, twenty two right. That's very disappointing. So it basically suggests getting you know, an expensive fast card for a smartphone such as the S7 or S8 or virtually any other smartphone is a waste of money. Save your money and get something like a 33 megabits per second or 50 megabits per second card. You don't need a 100 megabits per second card because it won't get that high. It's got 22 right. And the internal is 143. And the external secondary store internal storage is 29 with the micro SD card is just 22. Read is a bit better at 61, but still does not compare against what's built into the phone 138 and 200. So in my opinion, it's a waste of money getting a 100 megabits per second card for a smartphone. Might be different for a camera, an expensive camera that needs fast memory for video, but for a smartphone you're wasting your money. 50 megabits per second would be more than enough. It should be a lot cheaper, at least a third cheaper. So that's the test of the Sandisk 100 megabits per second ultra card. It's not necessary, not for smartphones anyway. <laughs> <laughs>